Hi everyone, in the first part of this video, we have discussed the Infosys interview questions. Various Infosys interview questions, there was questions on hash map, uh, stream API, Java 8 and design pattern and string and everything. Uh, those other level of these questions was easy to medium and the like experience level for this uh, interview was between I mean this will be helpful for the candidate who is having experience between one to four years. So make sure if you have experience uh, between one to four years, make sure you know the answer of these questions. If you don't know the answer of these questions, then it will be very hard for you to clear the interview. So make sure you prepare for these uh, questions. You watch the uh, part one for this interview. I mean this uh, video and prepare for these questions first and then come to this video. In this part, I will discuss uh, some other questions. The question we have is on spring, spring and spring boot. So the question we have is what is Spring Boot Actuator? What is Spring Boot Actuator? So if you talk about Spring Boot Actuator, it's a module. It's a module in Spring Boot. So to use the Spring Boot Actuator in your project, you need to add the dependency. Okay, dependency of uh, actuator and add the dependency in your form.xml file. Then you can use the actuator. So actuator is like used to ex it expose some endpoints information related endpoints to the end user like health like various information you can get while using actuator your application health your metrics your information regarding application your environment information your dump all these things you can get while using actuators okay so if you use actuator then automatically you can access some endpoints slash health slash metrics slash dump these endpoints you can access directly okay and by accessing that endpoint uh, you will get an interface i mean from the browser you can access uh, these endpoints and you can check various inside of your application by using those uh, run inside from a running application you will get an idea that how your application is performing okay so these things uh, you should know about actuators uh, like there are multiple things and if you want to read about actuator more there are various good uh, uh, like channels available in the YouTube or there are like uh, websites also available like geeks for geeks telescope you can go there and read about the actuators in details okay the next question we have is what spring boot annotation you have used so if we talk about annotations there are multiple annotations available in the spring boot if we talk about like details in uh, class level first of all uh, to answer this question, you need to tell on the Spring Boot application level what annotations uh, are there. So uh, there is annotation called Spring Boot application annotation. Spring Boot, I will write it here. Spring Boot application annotation. So that, that is one annotation you have used you I mean uh, you can tell okay so apart from that there are some more annotations also like uh, before in 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 the version Java uh, sorry Spring Boot one there was multiple annotations for example there was uh, configure enable auto configuration and component scan but after java uh, after spring boot 2.0 they have only one annotation in the application level they removed uh, all these annotation of course you can use these annotations as well uh, you can you can while excluding some component while scanning you can use component scan and exclude exclude those uh, while using by using the parameter exclude so of course these annotation still you can use but yeah instead of these three we have a single annotation called spring boot application annotation so these are the uh, annotations which are uh, there for the application level and if you are like uh, more on the senior side then uh, you can tell some of the microservices annotations like enable security or uh, 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 enable strict in a, enable Eureka client, enable Eureka server, these kind of spring cloud annotation also you can tell. On the class level, there are various uh, stereotype annotations which are available like component is there, then, then comes repository, then comes service, 
okay uh, after service we have controller then comes uh, rest controller is there so these are all stereotype annotation then on the method level you have bean annotation okay so the, the list is very long uh, apart from bean annotation the uh, like on the method level or uh, on the element level there are annotations like uh, uh, path variable path variable request param is there request body is there uh, get mapping is there post mapping is there request mapping is there so there are multiple annotation you can tell uh, you can also tell the use of these annotations okay uh, so uh, like now we have we will jump to the next question apart from that there is auto add annotation as well there is qualifier annotation as well there is primary annotation as well so there are multiple annotation the list is very long and you can tell any of them any of them okay so now the next question we have is what is the difference between uh, auto add and qualifier auto add annotation and qualifier annotation so if we talk about auto add annotation and qualifier annotation the main difference is uh, both are spring annotation basically both are spring annotation okay so auto add can be used alone if it is used alone it will be wired by type by type it will find the bean for it okay so in the case of like explicitly you want to use any other by name or anything you then you have to use qualifier qualifier in the qualifier annotation you you can like pick any bean by name by specific name you have to give auto add by default it will pick the bean by type so this is the main difference and you need to tell this difference while answering this question okay so uh, another very important very very important question which is asked in these days very like uh, many interviews which is uh, can you tell me how we can handle the exception in spring boot okay so while handling the exception in spring boot there is a proper way to do it there is a proper way which is using the exceptional handler this is a very long topic uh, the annotations which are available in uh, exceptional handler are at exceptional handler at controller advice okay these annotations you have to use you have to create a controller advice and you have to create some custom exceptions and whenever like you are expecting some exception you have to create a handle exception method exceptional handler uh, by using exceptional handler annotation you have to like uh, create a uh, ma some methods uh, from from whichever endpoints you are expecting some uh, exceptions you have to mention those as well there so it's a big topic you need to, you can read about it in any of the website available or any of the youtube video so but make sure you prepare about this uh, question because this is a very very important question which is asked which has been asked in many interview repeatedly okay so i know my audience is smart and you guys will prepare uh, about this question so uh, the next question is write a query to retrieve duplicate records from a table so it's a uh, like query question i mean it's a question which is which is asked in the uh, to to know your knowledge in the sql part okay so so i will give you like uh, in this video i am going to tell you how you can retrieve duplicate records from a table of course it's a simple question it's a simple question so <clears throat> so i will try to write the i mean answer for it uh, query for it so select Uh, okay so retrieve the duplicate record so if we have to assume that uh, this uh, uh, table we have is employee table and uh, uh, we need to find uh, like names can be duplicate names can be duplicate uh, in the employee table names can be duplicate so we need to find the names duplicate names okay so we need to find select count 
नेम फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉय ग्रुप बाय नेम हैविंग काउंट नेम कल टू वन ओके सो दिस इज अ क्वेरी फॉर फाइंडिंग द डुप्लीकेट रिकॉर्ड्स और डुप्लीकेट नेम्स और इंस्टेड ऑफ काउंट यू कैन जस्ट सेलेक्ट नेम सो सेलेक्ट नेम फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉय ग्रुप बाय नेम हैविंग काउंट नेम इज इक्वल टू ग्रेटर देन वन सो दिस इज द क्वेरी दिस इज अ सिंपल क्वेरी टू रिट्रीव द डुप्लीकेट रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम अ टेबल इफ यू नो द लाइक बेटर आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेरी यू कैन राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ऑफकोर्स देर इज अफ देर इज अ फीडबैक एज वेल फॉर दीज टाइप ऑफ वीडियो यू कैन कमेंट इन द कमेंट डाउन बिलो ओके एंड देर इज अ फ्यू थिंग्स like uh, before going to the next question there is a few things i have another hindi channel as well where i talk about java career and lot of other things so if you understand hindi considering subscribing that as well and uh, like there is a platinum membership which is open and if you want like, like want to see more this type of videos or the real unedited unedited uh, recordings of the interviews uh, like you can join the platinum membership as well it is less than a cost of a copy co uh, coffee of starbuck okay so these are the few things now the next question is uh, we have is find all the non repeating characters in the string example a a a b b b c d d e non repeating character in the string so no, what is the non repeating character what is the non repeating character first of all which is non repeating i mean for example a here is repeating b is also repeating c is not repeating then d is repeating and e is also not repeating so uh, if we talk about non repeating character in this given string uh, the output should be output should be c and e this okay so uh, like this is also a very simple question uh, in java you need to do that i mean there are few things there are few things you you can do like uh, uh, i will i will share a link instead of explaining all all these years i will share a link of any of the website uh, like uh, there is a very good website called geeks or geeks you can refer that i will give you the link as well in this video so to find out the answer for this question and uh, like uh so there are few like ways to find out uh, the answer for this question by using hash map uh, and of course i think i have made a video on that as well if i have a video uh, made on a video on this question i will share that as well so you you can use hash map and you can uh, in the hash map there will be a key and there will be value so in the key you can uh, keep the characters and in the value you can keep the count first of all so you make entry in hash map so pick each character and make entry as a key and value uh, the value okay and whenever you entering it again you can uh, increase the count by one increase the count by one so uh, again if you are entering e i mean putting e inside this hash map the count will be plus one and the character will be replaced so so if you have like a here and uh, initially and then count will be 1 and again a here and count will be 2 again a inserted and the count will be 3 so you need to insert all these character one by one and whenever you are like you are inserting c here the count inserted first one and then uh, there is no c again so c is inserted only once okay so after every iteration you need to find in hash map whatever uh, like having the value 
वन इज अ योर नॉन रिपीटिंग कैरेक्टर सो दिस इज द सिंपल सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट सो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू इंसर्ट ऑल इन दैश मैप एंड देन यू यू नीड टू गेट द वैल्यूज विच आर हैविंग ओनली वन एज अ वैल्यू ओके सो दिस इज द वन वे टू डू दैट एंड देर आर मल्टीपल अदर वेज टू डू दैट एंड योर होमवर्क विल बी यू विल लाइक डू इट योर सेल्फ एंड कमेंट द बेस्ट सोल्यूशन आउट देर अवेलेबल ओके सो दीज आर द फ्यू क्वेश्चन विच आर आस्ट इन द रिसेंट इंटरव्यू एंड आई एम श्योर दिस इन लाइक दिस टाइप ऑफ वीडियोज आर वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू यू कैस बिकॉज आई एम ऑल हियर to to help you guys and uh, thank you so much thank you so much for all your support and love and everything and your feedback as well and uh, i will continuously sharing the question please supporting me and keep sharing keep uh, sharing the interview questions with with me you can go to my email id uh, and uh, you can uh, contact there you can mail me the question i will sort the all questions for you try to uh, try to share the answer answers as well so thank you so much i will see you in the next video thank you bye bye